we should as society at all material times work towards the following goals amongst others. One, the fostering of the constitutional values. So our measuring rod in, in society should be based on the values, the principles, the spirit and the letter of the constitution. Two, equal opportunities, inclusion and, and redress in our society. Three, promoting social cohesion across society through increased interaction across race and class. Four, promoting active citizenry and leadership. And this is happening in South Africa, and it should happen more, that active citizenry. Fifth, the fostering of a social compact uh, in our society. As we have gathered here, we should be keenly aware that South Africa represents the most acute manifestation of the most of the social fault lines that define humanity's current challenges, race, class, gender, and geographic location. Income inequality and inequitable distribution of assets are the most intense. Poverty and unparalleled opulence live by cheek and joke. And this is what we say uh, in the ruling party's uh, strategy and tactics. Therefore, our efforts at fundamental change represent a social experiment which resonates with humanity's progressive endeavors. As in the past, when it touched the conscience of humanity, South Africa is a giant social laboratory, the success or failure of whose undertakings has global implications. Let us again recall the words of, Col of, of Cornel West, and I quote, in these downbeat times, we need as much hope and courage as we do vision and analysis. We must accent the best of each other, even as we point out the vicious effects of our racial divide and pernicious consequences of our maldistribution of wealth and power. We will not rest until the billboards of this country carry the message across, because racism does not only exist or persist because of colonialism, segregation, and apartheid. But it also resides in the minds and psyche of a people who have grown accustomed to their sense of superiority and privilege. We want